Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is a sine wave display on the TEC 2213A. And uh, this is going to be a demonstration of uh, several things. How t uh, we're going to be triggering this function generator from another uh, oscillator, an old WaveTech Model 3 that's behind some stuff off to the left, so you can't see it. But it's sign input is coming in here, or rather the sign output from the WaveTech is coming in here to the trigger sync input of the F43 and then also up to the channel 1 input to the Tektronics oscilloscope. And then the output of the F43 over here is coming up to the channel 2 input of the Tek oscilloscope. And it looks like there's just one signal displayed on there because I've got them uh, perfectly uh, overlapped. If I move them apart, you can see that we have two signals. The channel 1 signal is from the WaveTech, which is also synchronizing the, or triggering and synchronizing the output of the F43. Now by using the F43's phase knob down here now, I can vary the phase of the F43's signal. And you can see how that bottom trace moves as I adjust the phase knob. And uh, when I had them perfectly overlapped like this, you can see that by adjusting that phase knob, I can get them to be perfectly in phase like that. Okay. Now let's see if we can get uh, an XY display, a Lissajou figure out of that. So I'm going to turn the scope's uh, time base knob all the way down to the XY mode. And uh, now you can see that we have a diagonal line there with just a little bit of split so we're not perfectly in phase. If I adjust the phase control now you can see that we go from that kind of a circle to that kind of a circle and the major axis of this ellipse indicates the direction in which the signals are lagging or leading. Okay. When that circle is as round as it'll get, right there, the two input signals should be perfectly 90 degrees out of phase. And you can see, sure enough, that's exactly where we're at there. Okay. So that's a quick demonstration of the XY mode and the um, trigger sync phase shift capabilities of a good function generator that has a trigger sync input and a phase control knob. Thank you for watching. Oh, let me get a close up and we'll go through that again. When you're as perfectly round as you can get like that, the signals are uh, in phase. Or rather, I'm sorry, 90 degrees out of phase when it's perfectly round. And when the signals are exactly in phase like that, you should get a diagonal line sloping from left to right up at 45 degrees. And when the signals are perfectly out of phase, 180 degrees out of phase, you should get a diagonal line sloping down from left to right at 45 degrees. And sure enough, that's what you get. A good function generator that has the ability to be triggered by a, another function generator uh, and has a phase control knob is a very handy thing 
to have in the laboratory. Thank you for watching.